Next pair coming up is going to be Jack Beckman and Melanie Troxel. We've talked about manhandling the funny car. Well, Melanie can do it too. The funny car you actually physically is harder to drive than any car I've been in. I mean, you can be going through the lights when you have a cylinder out, hands all crossed up, just all you can do to keep the car from trying to, you know, cross over into the other lane or hit the wall, literally trying to maybe wedge your hand under that steering wheel to shove it over there a little bit more. Melanie looking to get into her first semi this year. You ever think about this? Absolutely. You know, I drove an alcohol funny car and had planned on going into a fuel funny car. Just when the Peak Brothers, when we blew our funny car body off uh, in Martin, Michigan, and, and uh, needed to figure out what we were going to do, the Peak Brothers were looking for a top fuel driver, and that's where I got my start. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Could have been in this. It's that guy. Every time we have a guest, I always like to look at their history. The first time that Mike Dunn raced Tony Schumacher was the semifinals at the Big O 96, Tony's first ever race. And Tony, you beat him. Reaction time, you were in 89, Mike. I'm sorry to throw you under the bus, but you were 100. I was late. <laughs> That's why I'm doing TV. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting us to beat him at that time. We were brand new. It was a brand new team. But, uh, you know, we went out. And I remember watching the video of him smoking the tires. And he goes out there and pedals it and blows the blower off it. And it just turns it sideways. Yeah, it was a great camera he had on the back. It was, it was pretty neat, especially for me, being able to watch it. Know that my first race was against you. Uh, and it put us in the finals. Fantastic. And a lot of guys beat him. <laughs> a lot of guys got beat by him, too. Heck of a driver. <laughs> So Beckman and Troxel. Well, I know who you're rooting for in this one. Yeah, no questions asked. Uh, Beckman really needs to get some, get in the winter circle. He's been doing a good job. He's been doing a great job. I mean, he Thank kind you. of stumbled a little bit in the first race at the at Winter Nationals. Since, since then, he's been pretty much flawless, hasn't he? And as a driver, he's been doing a good job. That's what we watch for. Second in the point. Six rounds out of first. Good race. Oh, man, I thought for a minute that was going to be a Melanie Troxel win, a 427, 287 mile an hour pass to the losing 434 for Melanie. And Jack Beckman is into the final against the number one qualifier. That would be Mike Neff. Semi-final is going to be Mike Neff against Jack Beckman with uh, Neff having that lane choice, that great 422 elapsed time. And the other side of that will be Tony, or uh, will be Tony Pedragon and Jeff Arren. So we've got the second round of Nitro complete and uh, Tony Schumacher, the one final question, mm -hmm. halfway point in the season. I haven't won anything, man. What's going on here? You know, I tell everybody, my team, you know, you get up in the booth and they're all kind of down. And I said, look, guys, a miraculous major uh, come from behind victory starts with getting behind. Nobody's ever heard of you coming from ahead, oh, man. It's a <laughs> we lead here. A we lead. We stay yeah, part one, we got it down, the, the deficit. Now we regroup and we come back. Uh, it is the way it is. You know, we got the best team in the world. We know how to win. We know how to win championships. We know the rules. We have to win the last couple of races. We got to figure it out right now, though. We got to stay in that top five. It's very important. Thanks for joining us. Don't do, here, do it again. Thank you, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> Loving that countdown, aren't you? Loving the countdown. <laughs> Well, Eric Anders, who very shortly in pro stock, will face that car just over the top there. That's Mike Edwards. Yep, it's pro stock coming up to the line now. And, and how about Greg Anderson? You saw him. He is trying to get his first win here in Chicago. Jeff Wren, they're already hard at work. Tony Pedragon is the next target for Jeff Wren and the Coletta team here in Chicago.